guys, today I'm going to be doing a full series book talk on the Shatter Me trilogy by Tahara Mafi, which consists of Shatter Me, Unravel Me, Ignite Me, and the two novellas Destroy Me and Fracture Me. And this is a trilogy that has been out for a while now, but I've just recently gotten around to reading it, and I absolutely loved it. I gave Shatter Me and Unravel Me both 4 out of 5 stars and Ignite Me 5 out of 5 stars, which was obviously my favorite of the three. If you have never heard of this series, which I'm sure you have, it's pretty popular here on booktube and just in YA literature in general, but it's basically about this girl named Juliette who, if she touches somebody, they basically die. Like her touch is lethal. When Shatter Me starts, we see Juliette living in this small confined space where she's basically been staying for a year because people are scared that she's going to kill people because of her touch. That's basically all that I knew going into the Shatter Me trilogy, so I don't think you really need to know more than that, but just know that it's a really great dystopian series, and if you're into dystopian and you haven't checked it out yet, you'll definitely be a fan of it. It's so good, so fast-paced, and like everybody's a fan of it, so I definitely recommend Shatter Me if you have not read it, but now I'm going to be getting into some details, so goodbye non-spoiler people, make sure you check out the book, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, so now for you guys that have read all three books and maybe the novellas, I only read Destroy Me, I didn't read Fracture Me just because I didn't feel like it, but I did read the first novella. Um, but yes, I loved this series. I I loved it. I decided to buddy read Chatter Me with my friend Mandy like last month maybe or something like that and I read it and then I read Unravel Me and Unravel Me it took me a little bit of time to get through just because I was super busy. I had read like a couple chapters and kind of stopped and then I just read like the rest of the book and then I went right into Ignite Me after. So yes, it did take me a little bit of time to get through this series but I absolutely loved it. I decided to pick up this series because of Whitney at Whitney Novels. So Whitney, if you're watching, thank you, God bless, like, God bless. Like, if you guys know Whitney, you know this is like her thing. Like, if you know anything about Whitney, it's that she's obsessed with Shatter Me and Warnet. And I have to say, I'm starting to feel the same way, Whitney. So yes, I'm very happy I read this series and I just want to like talk some details with you guys and stuff. I don't really know, just whatever I want to talk about. One of the things about this series that I'm still a little bit unsure of is the time period and just the overall setting, I guess, because we know about the reestablishment and all that kind of stuff, but it's just like she always talks about how the earth is just like gross and like worn down and I'm like when did this take place like when is this happening is it like into the future or is it like way 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 in the past I think it's probably a futuristic book but like I'm just really not sure like even still so yeah if you guys have any idea about that and I just maybe missed it let me know because I'd be very interested to know but yeah so Juliet's just like chilling in this room <laughs> and then Adam comes in and we get to know a little bit about Adam, and then whatever. Like, who really cares about what happens in the first and second book? Because, like, truly, I don't. Um, you know, we see her and Adam, like, be together, which is all cool, whatever. I liked Adam. I wasn't somebody that hated Adam in the first book. I did like him. I didn't have any problems with him. My one thing going into this book is that I didn't really have, like, an opened mind going into this because I already knew that basically everybody likes Warner. And when you meet Warner in Shatter Me, he's, like, this terrible person, mean, cruel, like, this, like, dictator, basically and you're like chill why does everybody like Warner because like I don't and I was just kind of like waiting for the moment where I would start liking Warner because I figured it would happen because like there has to be a reason why everybody likes him so during the first and second book I was like yeah like I guess I like Adam but like he's kind of irrelevant because I've only ever heard people talk about Warner so the first and second book we have Adam and Adam's fine but during the second book I'm just like so where's Warner I'm just waiting for Warner to show up at Omega Point after everything happens to Chatter Me and they escape and Warner touches her leg and he can touch her. Guys, I just have to say that, um, first of all, I'm like a jumbled mess right now talking, so just I'm sorry if this is like the worst planned book talk ever, because I know it is, because I barely planned anything. But I have to say that when we found out that Adam can touch Juliet, I knew. I was like, so basically, Warner's gonna be able to touch Juliet too, right? Like, obviously. And then we get to like the end, and um, they escape from, you know, his place and uh, Warner touches her leg and he can touch her and it's not nothing happens so that's pretty cool and I was excited about that because I was like yeah well if her and Warner are gonna get together that obviously has to be a thing but yeah then we have like the second book and all that stuff I don't even like remember the second book like the second book is honestly like a blur to me because I read it so like I read some of the beginning and then I read the end and it just it feels like a blur I really only care about this book this book guys was beautiful I absolutely loved Ignite Me. Loved, loved so much. It's really hard to talk about Shatter Me and Unravel Me when all I want to talk about is Ignite Me, just because it was, it was the best one, you know, hashtag Warnet, you know, you, you guys know, you know. Are any of you guys like Team Adam? Probably not, right? I don't think anybody, is there a Team Adam? Like, I don't even think there is. 
Oh, oh, also, I love Kenji. Kenji is, like, my bae. I thought he was so funny. He's that, like, perfect comedic relief that you need because everyone's, like, stressing out. Like, Adam is so tense. He's, like, frigid. Like, I was like, okay, Adam. And then Kenji just, like, breaks the ice. And I just, I loved Kenji. I thought he was so funny. And he really knew what was up. He knew what was going on. He helped Juliet. And how he and Juliet, like, became best friends. My heart, guys. My heart. I thought it was so cute. And then basically, like, we find out more about Warner's past, and we find out about Warner and, uh, what's his face? Adam. I think this is Unravel Me, though, we find this out, that they're brothers. Like, oh, what a plot twist. I didn't see that one coming. Like, I guess I should have, because, you know, they can both touch her, so that probably has something to do with it. But I was just like, wow. Like, I, I was truly shocked. I'm not, like, I probably sound like I'm kidding, but I, I was actually, I was shocked. Oh, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say it once. Chapter 54 beautiful. When we find out that Juliet can just like touch everybody now and she can basically just do whatever she wants because she learned how to control her powers, I think I cried. Like I almost started crying. I was like, oh my gosh, like this has been something that she has been struggling with her whole life and she's finally able to control her power and it was just like such a great moment. Like there's so much character development throughout these books and I love the writing style of these books also. The way that Tahara Mafi has like the lines crossed out of like what she's thinking or what the truth is, what people won't actually tell her. I really loved that and I also really liked how there was so much character development within the three main leads, Adam, you know, Juliet and Warner. There was so much character development there. You know, Adam, he's just kind of like blah in the first book and in the last book he's still pretty blah but then we see him just kind of like realize that he and Juliet aren't meant to be, which you know they're not. Juliet's character development is through the roof incredible like you see her in the beginning and she's like this shy fragile girl and at the end she's like the ruler of the nation and I loved it so much I love a good strong female character and Juliet was perfect I found her a little bit annoying in the beginning but by the time she kind of got over herself you know Kenji was like girl pick it up like get over it and she was like you know what Kenji you're right and she did get over it and I was so happy in that moment because I was about to like not like her anymore because she was kind of annoying and shattered me and unraveled me because she's just like oh I don't know what to do I'm just this fragile girl and then Kenji's like no girl pick it up literally everything I'm saying is exactly like the book right guys <laughs> Yeah, I'm just saying Juliet had so much character development and her end character in the last scenes of Ignite Me is incredible. Also with Warner, we see him as this guy trying to hold all his feelings and trying to act tough to appease his father. And then we see him at the end and he's actually this really sweet guy who just wants what's best for Juliet and wanted to help her come out of her shell and really is just a great guy. <laughs> I love Warner. I really do think that the ending of this series was sufficient, especially after I read Delirium, which, no spoilers, but the ending on that third book is just terrible. And um, I really loved the ending on this one. You know, it just set us off for, like, anything. Like, there doesn't have to be another conclusion. Obviously, I wouldn't mind if there was another book, which I don't think is going to be happening, but if there was another book, I feel like it... it it's set up so that there could be another book, but there probably isn't going to be, and there doesn't have to be. The ending is completely sufficient for the story, but if they wanted to add more, if Tara Moffey wanted to add another book, she definitely could. And I wish there was more, but I don't feel unsatisfied. I feel like this was a good ending and a good place that she could end it at. I know that my book talks are always all over the place, and I do apologize. I'm just so bad at note-taking while reading books, because I'll read all three books, and then I'll want to read another book, and then I'll forget about the books, and I know that's where note-taking comes in hand. And I did take notes, guys. I did. I have that, and I have my notes on my journal, and I have all these notes, but I still don't really know what I was saying in my notes, because it's like scribbles, because I was probably like freaking out. I'm like, oh my god, Warner touched her, like freaking out, you know? So the notes aren't that great. So I'm really bad with that, and I'm trying to get better. I know I'm trying to do more book talks, too, in general. Please just let me know if you actually enjoy my book talks, and they're not just like me obnoxiously spewing about like everything all at once and they're just like this rambled mess because that's the vibe I get when I go back and edit. I'm like how do I even edit this video? It's just me screaming out random parts of the book that I liked. So let me know if you do enjoy these types of videos. If my endless rambling isn't super annoying just let me know what you guys think or let me know if like I should get it together and start organizing my book talks better and um, I think mostly this one is really all over the place just because I did read the series over the course of a month. Especially for this because it's a three book thing it's my memory is just kind of everywhere so I didn't really have like a great explanation of my feelings and thoughts but I think you guys kind of get it like love Juliet and Warner Adams eh, loved the book Juliet's kick-ass Warner's my bae it's basically all you had to know really I could have made this video like five seconds long 
whoops. But I hope you guys enjoyed this book talk nonetheless, and make sure you let me know all of your thoughts on the Shadow Me series down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And make sure you like this video and subscribe if you have not already. And you can always tweet me on Twitter. And also, if you're leaving a comment, can you just make sure you leave like asteroids or something? Just to be careful if there's people down there that haven't read the series or anything, just to be careful about spoilers. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as always, and I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day, and I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye!